Welcome, boys and girls. Today, we will practice writing numbers three different ways. Make sure you have your math journal out to take notes. By the end of today's lesson, you will be able to write numbers in standard, written, and expanded form. Here are two smart math practices to keep in mind. S&P number two, use quantitative reasoning. Make sure you examine how the value of each digit changes as you move from one place value to another. S&P number six, attend to precision. We will see just how important the comma is when reading and writing numbers. And here we have some key vocabulary words to keep in mind. More importantly, the three ways in which numbers are represented. Standard form, as we can see an example here, expanded, and written form. We'll discuss these as we move along. We will first practice writing numbers in written form. However, before writing numbers, it is important that we're able to read them correctly first. Keeping in mind that each digit has a place and that digits are separated into what we call periods. We can see in this example, we have the thousands period and the ones period. When reading numbers, we read from left to right and we group as we read. So let's consider the first group, the thousands period. We have a two and seven, and we would read it like we normally would, 27. This comma signals that we must say thousands since we just left the thousands period. Now we're ready to move on into the ones period. We have a one, three, and eight, and if we put that together and read, we would read that as 138. Let's read the entire number. Again, from left to right, 27,138. Now, let's take a look at how that would look in written form. So here we can see our number written in written form. 27,138. And notice, I only said thousand when I arrived at the comma. The comma signals when to name that period. All right, let's try another one together. In this example, we can see we have a comma, which separates the thousands from the ones period. And when reading numbers, remember, we read from left to right. So we will ignore the ones period for now and we'll focus on the thousands period. We read this three digit number as 459. We have this comma. It signals that we must say thousands since we just read the thousands period. We're ready to move on into the ones period. Grouping these three digits, we would read 275. Now let's put it all together. Say it with me, 459,275. Got it? Well, let's see how we would write it. So here we have the number in its written form. We write numbers exactly the way we read it. So it's good practice to read the number aloud so that you can hear yourself as you write out the numbers. 459,275. Now it's your turn to try. This would be a great place to pause the video so that you can write the number below down and write it in written form. Some things to keep in mind. When we read numbers, we read them from left to right, and even though this is a big number, we can group it by period. Also, the comma signals when to name that period. 
so hopefully you have your response recorded. We will check it at the end. Now we're ready to practice writing numbers in expanded form. Using the number that we worked with earlier, 27,138, we're going to represent this number in expanded form. Keeping in mind expanded form is writing numbers to show the value of each digit. In order to do so, it is helpful to place the digits in a place value chart. As we see here, the ones periods represented with a ones, tens, and hundreds place, as well as the thousands period is represented with a one thousands, ten thousand, hundred thousand. After identifying the place of each digit, we will start from left to right and write the value of each digit, separating it with a plus sign. But let's take an example of what I mean when I say write the value of the digit. Here we have the two. Since the two is in the 10 thousands place, two 10 thousands is equal to 20 thousand. Let's see how we will continue representing this entire number in expanded form. Again, we have our two in the ten thousands place and two ten thousands equals 20,000. And then we have a seven in the thousands place. And if we were to count seven thousands, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, the value of it is 7,000. And since we have a one in the hundreds, it's equivalent to 100. A three in the tens, we count three tens, 10, 20, 30, that's the value of 30. And eight ones, of course we have eight ones. Now when we represent the number 27,138 in expanded form, this is how we would write it out. The value would be represented and we would separate the value of each digit with a plus sign. Now let's try this next one together. Here we have this big number, but we're not afraid because we know that we can read numbers by grouping them in periods. So let's read the first group, 459. This comma, we will say thousands since we just left the thousands period and read 275. Again, that's 459,275. We're going to write this number in expanded form. And again, we will take one place at a time and represent it showing its value. Since we have a four in the hundred thousands place, what would that look like? We will repeat the same for the ten thousands place. We have a five in the ten thousands place. I'm not going to give away the answer just yet but let's just talk through what you would be writing down. We have a nine in the thousands place. If you have nine thousands, what would that be? Write it down and let's see if you have the correct answer as we move along. Seven tens and five ones. Let's see what that would look like in expanded form. Did you get it? Here we have the value of the four in the hundred thousands place, the five in the ten thousands place, the thousands place, hundreds place, tens place, and five. They're all represented. Again, when writing numbers in expanded form, we must identify the value of each place first, as we see in step one. And then from left to right, We'll write the value of each digit out, separating it with a plus sign. So here's the number 459,275 written in expanded form. Now it's your turn to try. This will be a great place to pause the video 
and to write down in your journal problem number two. As it states, write the number below. I'm not going to give it away. Since we're practicing how to read numbers, you're going to write this number in expanded form and make use of the place value chart. Remember, identify the place of each digit. The place value chart is here for you. And then starting from left to right, write the value of each digit, separating it with a plus sign. Are you ready to check your answer to see if you got it? Well, you'll just have to wait till the end and we will check to see if you have it correct. But we're ready to move on to the standard form. Last but not least, we will practice writing numbers in standard form. Standard form is basically writing numbers the normal way using digits. In this example, we see a number written in written form. And we're going to now take the written form and change it into the standard form. But before we do that, here are some steps to keep in mind. First, read aloud the written form of the number. And as you say each number, write them down. Keeping in mind that numbers are grouped by periods. And when you say thousands or millions, you must put a comma in its place. So reading this number, 536,000. Since I heard 536, I know I would write down a five, three, and six. That thousand signals where to put the comma. I continue reading 204. 204, I know anything in the hundreds requires three digits. So I must write a two, zero, and four, because otherwise, if I just simply write two, four, that's 24. So I must fill in that place with a placeholder of a zero. So I would write it in standard form like this, 536,204. Let's try another one. Here we have a number written in its written form, and we're going to write it in its standard form, keeping in mind that standard form means writing it the normal way using digits or numbers. So let's read it. It says 253,612. Now, as I read the number aloud, I heard certain numbers being called out. So as I read it, I will write the numbers down. So let's do it together. You should be writing in your journal. 253,000. Hmm. I heard 253, so I know that's a two. Whoops, I'm about to give it away. <laughs> so you fill in the rest. 255, 53,000. Keeping in mind that thousand is a signal letting us know to do something. 612. Hopefully you got it. Let's check. All right. If you got it, you give yourself a pat on the back. Now it's your turn to try it independently. Once again, pause the video and in your journal, write down problem number three. This time you're presented with the problem in its written form and you're going to have to write it down in its standard form. Some things to keep in mind. Read the number aloud as you see it in its written form. And as you hear yourself reading each number, write down the digits. And don't forget when you come to key signal words that a comma needs to be put in its place. So give yourself an opportunity to write it down in your journal. And then we will check our response at the end. Okay, so are you ready for the answers to be revealed for problems one, two, and three? Here we go. Self-check. So how did you do? For problem number one, the written form, did you write your number out this way? Problem number two, expanded form. Here we have it. And problem number three, standard form. I'm sure you did well. 
done and done.